Hamish McInnes from Glen Cove. Two Everest expeditions and well known throughout the whole world. Climbing without uh, risk is not climbing. It's a it's a sport instead of a passion. We started making this film as a simple portrait for the BBC. We thought it would be a one hour film. But when we started to interview him, he said, the first thing I want to talk about is the experience that I had several years ago when I got sectioned. And as we dug into that, he told us the story of how he had been taken into a psychogeriatric ward um, against his will, spent a very disturbing period of time for him in there. And when he came out, um, he had no memory of his previous life whatsoever. And we, uh, he went on to describe how he had rebooted his memory, essentially, over the intervening years using his archive of still images, of which there are over 50,000, 16 millimeter films, and his own writings. He's a fearless climber. He had this aura about him that made you feel you could, you're going to be okay. Well, if you're going to go on a jaunt of this kind, you might as well choose good company. Michael knew Hamish from working with him on several films, including probably most notably Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And Hamish worked on a lot of films, but on that film he was tasked with constructing the Bridge of Doom, which was shot in Glencoe. Michael loves the idea that the head of Mountain Rescue was tasked with flinging fake bodies into the gorge. Oh, was that right? Yes, no, no, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, you know where the Holy Grail is, but you're not telling no, I'm not anybody. not telling anybody. Yeah. He's an adventurer. Yeah, and a rescue is a big adventure. I mean, you have to go out and try to find people that are dead or semi-dead and, and rescue them, and that, that's a huge adventure, and he loved that. When really you want to, want to have a quiet life and you can't. <laughs> no, but you can't have a quiet life if you have such an amazing life. I mean, you know, spare his blushes, but he's not just a mountain climber. He's an author. He's, he's uh, um, created the best sort of stretcher service they can have in the mountains. He's an inventor, you know, and he's very, very funny. <laughs> he could be a member of the Monty Python it team. So, it was, I mean, it was, one documentary was is not enough. It was contagious, wasn't it? It was contagious, actually. Yeah, woo -hoo. And I have come home. Yeah.